Hey guys, it's Syx here. Okay, uh, I'm here today because I want to show you how to use um, Subalert in OBS for your broadcasts for getting a subscriber notification on your screen. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, the method I'm going to show you is using the window capture method rather than the monitor capture. So it'll work really good for someone that has a single monitor setup or somebody that runs a lot of stuff on their dual monitor where maybe they have uh, their music running, uh, apps for giveaways, lotteries, things like that. So they can kind of discreetly hide the, the chroma key area or their, the actual pop-up for the notification off on another window. Um, so the first thing here is having subalert. We've got this program. We'll go ahead and this is basically what mine looks like. This is this is the area. So this is my subscriber. It's got the little combo button on there. If you hit so many uh, reoccurring subscribers in a row, the follower, and then the donation. So this is what mine looks like. And then this is just kind of how the test animation works. There we go. Something like that. Oh, let me get my volume fixed here. Okay, so... That's the gist of it. Now, I want to get this over in screen here, or in game. So, going on here. Um, what I suggest doing is using it as a global source. If you use it as a global source, you can reapply it to every new scene. Like me, for instance, I, I have a scene selector. So, whenever I go from scene to scene to scene, I don't ever want my... Uh, my pop-up to refresh or have to redefault or even have to reactivate it because there is some people have reported that they have like glitches or their pop-up only goes like one and done it won't uh, pop up again it'll just give them the first broadcast and after that it never pings again so I'm going to show you how to solve that if you go to global sources I've already got one so we'll just remove it we'll create another one go to add window capture the sub alert now it's in preview mode right now that's gonna change but we'll hit the chroma on this just that'll black out our area okay so then this is gonna be our sub alert so it's currently in preview mode that please note that will change so we'll add our sub alert area edit the scene make it a big just for the sake of the uh, stream here okay and then this I will maybe we won't make it big never mind I'll delete it we'll just leave it as is just for the heck of it whatever so sub alert test animation see that's how that works we got a little bit of chroma that we can see 30 that'll probably get rid of it. there we go that works well so that's the test animation now once you go live we'll save this start now it's in its live mode. So this is where the actual uh, area is. Before start, you can have this move. Like you can go back, re reconfigure, and while you're in edit, you can move this to anywhere you want. I can go put it on another screen. I can put it wherever. But let's say you've got just a single monitor. You can leave it just anywhere you like. Just blah. You start this up, and uh, you can pull your game up. Your game will be in the front. This will be in the background. So then when you do get a follower not working this is why you gotta go to properties and it's defaulted it was in preview mode before after you activate it it loses its preview so it defaults to the status window when really where you need to be is the main alert window you go to main alert now it'll work so that's what we have and it doesn't matter let me turn this off it's distracting we can cover that area, and as you can see, it still pops up. So that's how this works. Works awesome. I think it's great. Um, the reason I'm posting this is because a lot of people have got partnership through Hitbox now as of August 1st because of them opening it up to the public. However, there's not a lot of programs out there that support 
the subscriber uh, notification like that. Like I believe like T notification only does chat and followers. So this is an awesome program for that. It'll work with a single monitor setup. You can do it on a dual monitor setup. Um, previously I had seen a lot of people suggesting you do this in uh, monitor capture, but I don't like monitor capture because once you do have your chroma and you do have something, let's say on another monitor or you've only got the single monitor setup, anything you put over it takes priority over that new uh, monitor capture area. So it's no good for that. So on a, uh, window capture does it best. And finally, let me show you here last thing before we close up. Now, let's say we close that and we start back up. Now, when I go to use this, we won't get any check. Awesome the combo! Not there. Oh, we got a combo. So, uh, it's not there. The reason of that being is a simple little properties okay that's all you got to do now it'll work again so all i did was at the beginning of a stream at the beginning of a stream every time you restart sub alert you need to just right click your any anyone in any scene properties okay and that just resets it to look at main alert rather than the status so when something comes through active works pretty well uh hope this get helped you guys if you have any questions just uh leave a comment below or uh contact me through reddit whatever you like hope i helped you and uh screaming <laughs>